Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be showing you all how to make old-fashioned pancakes when you don't have the pancake mix. It's simple and i also be making fried apple on the side which I cook fried apple several times on my channel and i also be cooking some bacon. I'll get back with you all with the ingredients. Okay, what I'll be using for my pancakes and you should always use Seth Rising flour. If not, you got to add the baking powder and the salt, but it's simple. This is already measured out. And I'll be using some buttermilk. That's good. A little sugar. And I'll be using eggs and oil and some butter. Those are things that you need for just old-fashioned pancakes. And for my apple, I have Granny Smith apples. I have some um, a cinnamon, uh, vanilla extract, and nutmeg and the sugar also but what i forgot to say this i'll be using this for my pancakes miss butterworth uh, i love that syrup it has butter in it and i also melt butter to go with it and i in the sides i probably put some i, I want to try my pan, pan, uh, pancakes with a little walnut in it and that's what i'll be doing and these are things i'll be using i'm gonna get back with you all Okay, here's the ingredients that I'll be using in my pancakes. It's like, you know, it, I mean, it's really good. Like if you don't have the box and you can make it and your kids can help you make it. I'll be using, like I said, self rising flour. It's best to use this, you don't have to mention. When I put mine, you should always put yours in a, uh, I'm gonna start. you should always put yours in a, in a stiff, you know, so you can uh, sift it up good. I'm gonna put about, uh, about two cups in here. I'm going to start off with two cups. I don't know how many two cups I make. Because I'm just making like we used to make it. And I, I don't measure, but I know this is this is the little three cups right here. So I'm going to use about two cups of them. That should probably make about eight pancakes. Okay, now this is about a little more than two cups. You have to shift them. I ain't used this thing in so long. <laughs> Oh yeah, shift it. Make sure your flour, so this can, you know, mix your flour up and it's good. And make it very light. Yeah. Make sure you, you can buy these at the dollar store. That's where I bought this one at. And they got some, this is an old fashioned one. But it works. Yeah, set that up. Shift it. Sometimes you can do it two times, but I don't have to. I'm going to do this for one time. When you're making a cake, you should always sip it two times. Come on. And I'm going to put all my, well, I really don't have no dry ingredients, not much but the flour and the sugar. I'm going to put that in first. And you can put shift the sugar with it if you want to. That's up to you. And they got the... Now see what was left? Not very much was left. That's what you're shifting it to get the crumbs out. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm also going to put about... I'm going to put about... I should have my thing. And this, I'm going to put about... Let me see sugar. I'm going to go around. I'm going to put about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons in it. Because these are pancakes. I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to put that in. Stir this up good. And this is probably going to make a lot of pancakes because it's more than I thought. Two cups. You probably don't need no more than a cup. But I'll save this batter. Okay, now I'm going to try some butter. I'll put the oil in first. It doesn't matter now. I'm going to put the eggs in last. Some butter. This is oil. You always should use a little oil and butter. When you're cooking cornbread and uh, any type of oil, you want to put a little butter in here. And I'm going to put my buttermilk. And you're using buttermilk, okay, for these right here, for these two cups, I will first I start off with a cup. And make sure you shake your buttermilk really good. It has to be shaked really good. And I'm going to start with a cup and a half for, uh, for two, almost three cups. Is that buttermilk? Buttermilk. Throw this in here and stir this up. Uh-oh. -uh. Start slow, because if you don't measure, like I said, this is about, this is probably about uh, three cups, two cups, I mean, cup and a half. Now, this is a lot of pancakes, don't you all? Probably, I use two and a half cups. Y'all probably use a cup and a half, unless you're making it for a big group. So, you, what you're going to stir this up, 
until you get it like not pancakes look i'm gonna put this in there now this was a cup and a half and almost three cups of flour before i add anything else i'm gonna put my eggs and i'm gonna put two eggs in here these are large eggs before i put anything else in there and that's all you need for pancakes and what we used to cook our pancakes in and i don't know if they still do it that, they using olive oil now. We used to cook our pancakes. Are y'all those eggs? These are eggs, egg line. They some make eggs look so good. And so this is about equal two eggs. I, for mine, I had two, almost two cups and a half. But, uh, let me check my apples over here. Get back. Okay, you, okay, you all. I'm checking on my fried apples over here. See, they getting soft. It don't take nothing for fried apple. Just season it with the. I had nutmeg, I had vanilla extract, sugar, butter, and that's about it that you need for that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to it and just a tap of sugar. I want to get it, you know, like pancake, you know when you put that water in there and have you have it uh, the liquefied you want? So this is what I'm gonna do, put a little bit of milk. This is buttermilk. See, that, this is how you want it to be. So you can pour it and put it in there. You don't, whip, you don't have to beat it that long. And you get all the lumps out, smooth it out, see? So I say I put about two, uh, two and a half uh, flour and about two cups of milk. Not nothing, I'm sorry, about a, a one and a fourth cup, one and uh, three fourth cup of milk. I'm sorry, I had to get it together. See, I didn't look, that's how you want it. You want it to be able you want to get, I want also to get some of these lumps out, but you got to smooth it out. Okay, I'm going to clean up some of this mess and get back. I had to change pan because that pan was not heavy enough, and uh, I, I'm, I'm using my cast iron. I should have used that in the beginning because, like, the cast iron is the same thickness all over, but that pan was kind of sunk in the middle, so it burned. But here's my frying apple over here. See how they looking, y'all? These are going to be so good. I'm going to let them cook a little bit more, and my bacon is in the oven. So I'm getting ready to put this pancake. Make sure your grease uh, go all over the, uh, the skillet. So I, like I said, I try one at a time. So I know, and well, that's it. I'll let that cook. And I'm gonna get back with you once it start, once it start bubbling, I'm gonna let it, once it start bubbling in the middle, you know it's time to turn it over. We're gonna have bubbles in the middle and it'll be time. And I take, I cook one, that is so good with that vanilla extract, and I put butter in, I put sugar in it, and buttermilk for these pancakes. And once you try them, you'll never go back. You'll always make it. They are so good. They're cheap. Flowers cheap, and just make it with the eggs and the butter and all that goes in and make it taste so good. So I'm going to cut this up a little bit. I'm waiting for these to uh, start bubbling in the middle. And once they do, I'm going to get back with you. Once it starts bubbling in the middle and you can move across the skillet, you can get ready to turn it over. See how that is perfect. Perfect pancake. And I know it's going to taste good. Mm, mm, mm. Like I said, I was cooking it in the other skillet. I think a cast iron or a very heavy skillet because I had to throw one of them away because when I uh, the first one I put in there, it was kind of... Um, my granddaughter's having, my great granddaughter's having a fun today. It kind of moved over the skillet. Uh, I'm, I'm cooking these pancakes for her, and it kind of moved over and burnt, you know, kind of burned a little. But this is the right color. The walnuts and the batter, I think that'll be better. So they, and the best reason you put them in the batter is I got one more left, and it's the walnut because everybody, they couldn't even wait till I finished the video. It was so good. So I got my walnut in the batter. The skillet is hot. I'm gonna put this one. This is for me. The last one is for me. They ate the other ones. See those walnuts in that batter? This is gonna be good. Make it a little bigger. Once it gets done, I'm gonna let it cook. I don't wanna put too much in there. And that's it. I'm gonna let that cook. And I'm gonna eat, the, I'm gonna eat this one. Going with the walnuts in and look how my oh my fried apple looks delicious so I can't wait to eat my pancakes with my fried apple my good old bacon okay I'm gonna flip this back I don't want this to get so brown because they have the walnuts in it flip it over see 
on it. That's perfect. If it's not, I might turn it over just a little bit more so it can get brown. Brown another on this side. But I'm gonna let this cook. They should cook by two to three minutes on each side. And uh, they'll be good to go. It looks so good. This one over here, that's how pancakes, when I go to a restaurant, that's how I want my pancakes to look. And they taste so good when you make them from scratch with the buttermilk. I put buttermilk, vanilla extract, I put butter, a little butter in here. I also put some sugar, and I use separatizing flour. I think I said buttermilk, and that's the things you need to make you some old-fashioned pancakes that you definitely will enjoy. Like I said, if you like this video, uh, tune in to the next one that I put out. I'll be putting out one probably two a week, trying to put out two a week. Sometimes I don't, but that's my aim. Okay, I'm going to turn this over a little bit. Try this one. See? That's good. I'm going to let this fry a little bit on that side, and I'm going to get back and put this on a plate and get back with you all. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed my delicious pre presentation. Them pancakes was off the chain and all the other, the bacon and the fried apple, but I showed you all how to make pancakes from scratch without, you know, buying the box, and they taste so good, that vanilla extract, oh my God, it does it with the butter and the buttermilk and the separatizing flour, like I said. And if you like this video, make sure you tune in to the next, the next video that I post. Once again, thank you all for tuning into Matt's Kitchen, and have a wonderful day.